Hello, beautiful souls. It almost feels like someone I'm picking up on here has tried to let go of this person or situation because they feared that possibly things were kind of dying out here between the two of them. That there wasn't really anything to hold on to here. But to close this first YouTube reading, I am just going to be pulling one final runny oracle card for the reading. So, what is one final card to close the reading today? Okay, so here we have actually two cards that came out, and I'm already getting a little preview for what's going to come out in the extended Patreon reading, because there are two opposite energies here. But with the Page of Cups reversed energy, whoever this was that was divinely removed from someone's life, that may have caused them heartbreak. But there's also this sense that the removal was necessary to allow you to remain in a clear, higher vibrational state of being and to go towards your own highest timeline. But whoever this is, that person that was removed from your life is working through some very deep issues that seem to be related to their childhood. So this person has some kind of inner child wounding here, whether it was painful family dynamics growing up or limiting mindsets that were programmed into them in childhood. They seem to be experiencing these inner child wounds surfacing and being processed in a very head-on kind of way. So if there is still some kind of disconnect from this person, I'm getting that that disconnect may be because they are in the process of processing out this wounded energy that being connected with you somehow triggered within them. And that processing needs to be completed before they'll be able to connect with you energetically because you are in this very high vibrational state of being. I feel with the friendship card that someone could be treating this soul bond like a friendship. It's possible that one person here has wanted to ascend this to a higher level of commitment, whereas the other has been wanting to keep this as a friendship. I'm just so strongly hearing. I want to be more than friends. So, someone here I feel strongly wants this to be more than a friendship, but almost feels like they're trapped in the friend zone here. I know that's kind of a blunt way of putting it, but that's really the energy that I'm picking up on. In other cases, it could simply be that the basis of this connection is a really deep, amicable, soul-level kind of friendship. And at this time, there may not be a literal 3D romantic relationship here. It might just be a friendship on its way to blossoming into some kind of romance. So, I'm going to reshuffle the cards here. Well, most of the cards, I'm going to leave out the denial card reversed, and the indecision upright, because I'm strongly feeling this represents the two parties involved here. Indecision seems to represent you and your energy. I'm not really picking up necessarily divine feminine or divine masculine, but I will let you know if that comes through. From divine muscular. Type yes if you believe. 